All right, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to Mass Effect 1 Legendary Edition. Before we uh, head over to, oh, there's Caden's spot. Head over to Ilos. I want to talk to the crew, see how everybody's doing. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Oh, wait, I, I wanted we... to travel the star. Yeah, we got I this whole go. spiel. Goodbye, Commander. How you doing, Liara? Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. She is the best. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I've been thinking about Saren. I actually feel a little sorry for him now. He's the last person I'd feel sorry for. He is trapped inside his own mind. Part of him senses his identity slowly being swallowed up by Sovereign, but he is powerless to stop it. I wonder how he first fell into Sovereign's trap. Did he think he could somehow stop the Reapers from returning? Or was he simply driven by a lust for power and glory? It doesn't really matter, but I think we'll never really know either. Whatever Saren's reasons may have been, they're long gone now. He has to be stopped. Yes, I suppose you're right. He may be Sovereign's victim, but he is also a threat to all life as we know it. Uh, let's not spend every free minute talking about Saren. It is bad enough we are chasing him across the galaxy. I like talking with you, Liara, no matter what the subject. You have been very understanding with me, Shepard. Very patient. I appreciate that. I know there are some strange beliefs about my people. I am familiar with the legend of Asari promiscuity, but those rumors have little basis in fact. When one of my people joins with an individual from another species, it is a very deep and spiritual exchange. We do not enter lightly into a union. Spiritual? You make it sound almost mystical. A true union goes far beyond an ordinary melding. It is a connection that transcends the physical universe. Two become one. Thoughts and senses merge, identities intertwine. Memories and emotions weave themselves together, becoming entangled in a single, rapturous whole. It is unlike any other experience. In some cases, it can be a truly life-changing event. Intriguing. Let's hear Sounds about it. Sounds amazing. Are you saying... No. Oh, no. Uh, I am not very good at this, am I? I'm sorry, Shepard. I am trying to explain why I have been so... reserved. The Union is more than just sex. It is the lifeblood of my species, the way we Asari evolve and grow as a society. That is why I have never... Uh, I mean, that is why we must choose our partners with great care. I want you to be absolutely sure about this, Liara. I am only 106, barely an adult by Asari standards, and I spend most of my time absorbed in my research. I never really thought about it. Not until I met you. You are very special to me, Shepard. But with all that's happened, Saren, the Geth, the Reapers, I do not know if we are ready for this. I understand. These are dark times, Liara. Maybe once all this is over... I'm glad you understand, Shepard. There is too much at stake. We need to put aside our personal feelings and focus on stopping Saren. I wish it did not have to be that way. But we all have to make sacrifices. Let's... let's talk about something else. Okay. Uh, both subjects we have already broached? Awkwardly I gonna go. say, uh... Bye -bye. Goodbye, Shepard. Okay. So... Let us see what the rest of the crew has to talk about. It's probably nothing, but you know, still love talking to them. See how they feel about it. I know Ash probably has some, uh, some feelings about it. Oh, shit. Okay. Didn't know you were here. It was an honor working with you, Commander Shepard. 
Despite the losses, our mission was a success. Lieutenant Alenko's actions will not go unnoticed. His sacrifice has earned humanity a great deal of respect from my people. Caden was a fine officer. He knew what the risks were, but he did what he had to. Of course. A grim reality that every soldier must accept. Rest assured, Commander, my men and I will not forget what you have accomplished here. We will leave your ship as soon as you reach your next destination. Of course. Perhaps we will have the opportunity to work together again someday. I hope so. Commander, things got heated back on Vermeer. You did what you had to do. I respect your choice. Thank you. I appreciate what you did, Rex. I won't forget it. Just make sure it was worth it. Of course. Saren has to pay for what he's done. No matter what it takes, I'm gonna hunt him down and kill him. I like the sound of that. I'm glad to hear it. So long, Rex. Shepard. Ashley? Commander? About Lieutenant Alenko. How are you holding up? Can't say I'm better. Sorry for anything I said back there. I just... I don't want any deaths on my hands, and it's my fault. No, it's not. Williams, listen to me. I'm in command of this mission. I made the call, not you. He's dead because of me. It's funny. I don't have any fear of dying for the Alliance. But when I think of someone dying for me... Uh, if you don't mind my asking, how did you deal with the losses on Elysium? It was my job to get everyone out safe. I failed. I vowed not to let that happen again. Same here. I'll remember him, and I'll do better for him. Yeah. I guess that's all we can do. It's Thanks really advice, all we can do. Do you have a few minutes to talk one-on-one? -on -one? I should get back to my duty, Skipper. Rifles don't maintain themselves. All right. Not yet, anyway. Dismiss, Chief. Get back to work. Sir. Keep your mind clear. Commander, I... What can I do for you? Something bothering you? It's Saren. I'm starting to wonder whether we'll ever find him. He's always one step ahead of us, and he's got those damn geth. We're getting close, Garrus. We'll find him. I wish I had your confidence. I just can't stand the thought of him getting away with everything he's done. He will. I know you're doing everything you can, and if anyone can catch him, it's you, but if there's anything else I can do to help, anything, just tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do it. You worried? I understand your concern, but we'll find him. Just make sure you're ready to go when we do. Yes, sir. I'll be ready. All right, Garrus. Can I ask you something, Commander? Of course. What is it? Are you worried that the Council might be protecting Saren? I mean, they were really dragging their heels before. What if we find him, bring him back to the Citadel, and they refuse to act? I don't know. I get the feeling this isn't a question. Speak your mind, Garrus. Well, maybe we shouldn't give them the chance, Commander. In my opinion, Saren's too dangerous to be kept alive. Too much could happen. He could escape, or the Council might let him go. If we find him, when we find him, I say we make sure we stop him permanently. If Saren won't listen to reason, if he forces my hand, I'll kill him in a heartbeat. But only if it's absolutely necessary. But what's the point in keeping him alive? It just gives him an opportunity to escape or convince the Council to listen to him. And what about the Geth? They might try to free him. We know more about Saren's plans than anyone. But what do we really know? If we just kill him, we lose the chance to find out. Yeah, I see your point. Do you really think there's more to know, other than the fact that he's a raving lunatic? Maybe, maybe not. But it's not a chance I'm willing to take. Yes, sir. Yeah, you always gotta have intel before you start going on a rampage. At least when it comes to something bigger like a Reaper invasion. Hey, Shepard. How you, you doing? Need something? Oh. No, that's it? Okay. I should go. See you later. See ya. Something I can do for you, Commander. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, Commander. Off we go. It's a very interesting one. You gotta love that fucking one. 
Where do we drop the Solarians off at? Do we do we bring them back to the Citadel? What do we do with them? Are they just staying on the ship? They didn't mention where they wanted to go. Mm, maybe it gives us a location in the uh, journal. A oh, report to the council. Did I not just? Do we have to talk to them on the on the comms? Okay, no, we are going to the Citadel. That makes sense. It gives us the opportunity to check in on Connor. I forwarded the mission update to the Citadel, Commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. About damn time. Took them long enough. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, sir. see what we got. Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. That's not enough. You think a blockade's going to stop him? He's on Ilos looking for the conduit right now. What are you doing about that? Ilos is only accessible to the Mule Relay, deep inside the Terminus Systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. That's a dumbass point of, point of view. One ship going into the Terminus Systems won't start a war. I can be discreet. You detonated a nuclear device on Vermeer. I wouldn't call that discreet. Your style served you well in the Traverse, Commander. We recognize that. But Ilos requires a deft touch. We have the situation under control. Oh, both of you can go fuck yourselves. Secrecy isn't his greatest weapon. The conduit is. Saren is a master manipulator. The conduit is just a distraction from his real plan to attack the Citadel. Sovereign's the real threat. Saren's just a servant of the Reapers. Only you have seen the Reapers. And then only in visions. We won't invade the Terminus systems because of a dream. Oh dear god, okay. If Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. You bastard! You're selling us out! It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until for the notice you're grounded. Are you insane? After everything I've done, you still don't believe me? I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this. With my help, of course. Commander! Shepard, I cannot believe they did this to you. I am so sorry. It's not your fault. It's not right. You did everything they asked and more. Nobody else could have done what you did. The Council owes you everything. Everything. Instead, they strip you of your command and ground the Normandy. I don't care if they ground me, but they refuse to go after Saren. If they don't stop him from finding the conduit, we're all dead. Perhaps we could appeal and get them to reverse their decision. Not now. What the fuck does that mean? I pushed them as hard as I could. 
They wouldn't budge. So you're going to walk away? You will just give up and doom the entire galaxy to extinction? We lost the battle, not the war. I'll figure something out. I believe in you, Shepard. I am with you every step of the way. Sorry to interrupt, Commander. Got a message from Captain Anderson. What did he want? Only said to meet him in that club in the wards. Flux. You should probably go meet with him. All right. And eh, let, let's go. Full biotic squad. Where's he gonna spit me out at, though? Okay, just equalizing come the ship. interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Oh my god. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Oh, that's right. There's no fast travel spot in here. Your biotics are pretty powerful. Are all Asari that strong? While the Asari have natural biotic abilities, not all have the desire to learn to use their abilities effectively. All that power and some Asari don't use it? You could have conquered the galaxy if you'd wanted to. Thankfully that's not how they do things, Rex. Also, they don't breed like rabbits, so... Not an effective strategy. Words. Let's go check on Conrad in the markets. If he's got any more like weird, worshipful shrine-like things, a shepherd just sitting around somewhere. <laughs> oh my God, he's back! A commander, I've been waiting for you to get back. Why? Why have you been waiting for me? We don't know each other got an idea and I wanted to run it by you I've got a lot going on right now but I can spare a moment great this will just take a minute with so many human colonies being attacked I'm not sure that one specter is enough what if you signed me on as another specter I don't have the authority to to do that Conrad I don't think that's a good idea but I'd make a great specter. I'd be right there with you, showing the Council what humanity is capable of. I want to be with you, fighting the good fight like you did on Elysium during the Skillian Blitz. This is what the Blitz felt like, Conrad. You like it? What? No, please. Please don't hurt me. Why are you doing this? Because you're not a soldier, Conrad. You can't handle this. Go home. I thought you were a hero. Heroes don't do things like this. I wish I'd never met you. You've harassed me every time I've come through this hallway. Oh my god. Alright, to flux we go. <laughs> Holy shit, man. Where the fuck's the door? There's the door. Well, yeah, protect him. I'm not gonna get him killed. Which way is Flux? That's Cora's den. Is it this way? Is this where the arrow's pointing me? Uh oh, oh shit. I wonder what happened to Emily. She just sort of disappeared. Like, where'd she go? Presidium, no. Excuse me, you're the Spectre, right? Yeah. Commander Shepard, it is an honor to speak with you. Thanks. What's this demonstration about? I'm Charles Saraceno of the Terra Firma Party. With Armistice Day coming soon, we're making our voices heard by the alien appeasers on the Presidium. Can I count on your support in the next election? 
All right, let's let's get some explanation. I don't know Terra Firma's platform. What do you stand for? Our core value is that Earth must stand firm against alien influences, politically, culturally, and in the worst case, militarily. What does that mean? That is not unreasonable, but some of the things these people are saying sound a bit bigoted. Excuse me, I don't believe human politics are any of your business. What the Alliance does affects everyone around it. Yeah, it does. There's a bigger picture. Also, show some goddamn respect. We live in this galaxy, Mr. Saraceno. We can't pretend that what we do affects no one else. No, of course not. My apologies. I only meant to point out that other species have no right to interfere in Alliance politics. Well, that's not what's happening, is it? What are you running for? I'm seeking one of the five spacer seats in Parliament. They have certain Baroque conditions for a citizen to be able to vote for them. You have to spend more than six months a year in space, but you can't have stayed in any one settled system for more than a month. You do spend most of your time in space, Commander. Yeah, that's a little weird. Cause, cause there are space stations in Mass Effect, so why? That doesn't make any sense, but okay. You're marking the end of the first contact war with a protest? As we have every year for the last 26 years. The war taught humanity a lesson that some would forget. If we don't stand up for ourselves, no one else will. I thought the lesson of the first contact war was that there's other life in the galaxy, and they have opinions too. Perhaps so, Commander. But if aliens feel free to express their opinions at gunpoint, why shouldn't we? Because they have bigger guns? <laughs> if they have bigger guns, we should increase military spending. Instead, we sign away our right to defend ourselves with treaties. I like the way you think. Well, actually, no. Humans beat the equivalent of the Space Roman Empire in, the, in a war. I think that taught everybody a, quite, quite a bit about what we can do. Sorry, I believe we need to work peacefully with other races. We've heard that before in human history. Well-meaning naivete leads to declarations of peace in our time. We can't allow anything like Shanxi to happen again. I don't suppose I could convince you to issue a public statement of support for my candidacy. Yeah, I can't do the that. The support of the first human specter would be invaluable. The occupation of Shanxi couldn't happen again. We weren't even sure there were aliens to garrison against back then. It's still a powerful symbol, Commander. Shanxi is the only human territory ever occupied by an alien species. Yeah, but you can't use that as an example when the facts bear out that we had no idea there were aliens. You have the right to your opinion, Mr. Saraceno. But with all due respect, I disagree with it. I understand. I'm glad you support the democratic process. Thank you for your time, Commander. Remember Terra Firma on Election Day, because Terra Firma remembers you. If only political disagreements were actually like that. And why just Earth? We have colonies, dude! You dumb bastard! Earth has colonies! Pardon me, soldier. Can I take a moment of your time? What do you need? Soldier, I've got a major situation, and I need help from somebody with humanity's interests at heart. What do you want? It's Commander, actually. What do you want? Of course, right to business. That's why humanity has the best damn fleet in the galaxy. My name is Elias Keeler. I'm an Alliance negotiator. We've got a big session coming up with the Solarians. You wouldn't believe what's riding on this. I'm fighting for humanity on this one, just like you are. Okay. I understand. It's important. So what do you need? Well, in order to do my best for humanity, I need the best resources on the market. There's a mental stimulant that increases alertness and cognitive function. It's legal, but restricted. I've purchased the monthly limit, and I need more from the medbay. So you want me to buy you Adderall? Dude, no! What is this stimulant, exactly? Oh, I don't know the medical terms, but it increases mental capacity, short-term recall, that sort of thing. It helps me stay focused, and it keeps me sharp. Nothing gets by me when I'm on it. If you know the monthly limits, why did you go over them? The negotiations were supposed to be last week, but the Solarians stalled it, probably deliberately. If I don't get the stimulant, I'll be a wreck. My assistant will take over, and that would be a disaster. Why don't you have a little faith in him? You should put some trust in your assistant. Didn't you train him? My assistant wants to bend over backwards for the Citadel races. He wants to show them we're reasonable. 
No race will respect us until we show them who's in charge. That's what it took with the Turians. Yeah, forget my assistant. No, but the Turians invaded our territory. You can't go around politics bullying people. Why is this deal so important? The Salarians want to set up long-term trade agreements. There are billions of credits at stake. If I don't get the drug, my assistant will take over and mess up the whole deal. It would be a disaster. You should put some trust in my assistant. assistant. No race will respect us until we show them who's in charge. That's what it took with the Turians. Yeah, forget my assistant. Healer, you've got a problem. You need to get treatment. It might look that way from the outside, but this is just a one-time slip-up. Mm -hmm. All the top negotiators are on stimulants close to the legal limit. It's the way the game is played. Yeah, but the game is wrong, then. I don't see all the top negotiators soliciting help to go over the legal limit, Keeler. Maybe you're right. I've been trying to keep humanity strong, and maybe I've pushed myself too hard. I'll tell you what. This will be the last time I use the stimulant. After this deal is finished, I'll get treatment. Yeah. People say that all the time, don't they? No trade negotiation is worth ruining your life for. Let it go and get help. You don't understand! Humanity needs me, and I need that stimulant. Without it, I'll... I... I don't know anymore. I get so tired when I run out of the stimulant. I, I just need one more boost. No, you'll be okay. Get your treatment. There's no shame in having a problem, but you have to get treatment. You're, you're right. Uh, I'll go tell my assistant. I shouldn't be working like this. No, you should. I'll, I'll, I'll get help. I'm just sorry it came to this. Especially if it keeps you up and your body running overtime. You should. You could straight up just die. Still can't believe that where's Anderson? Like that. Hey, Anderson, where's the suit? I'm glad you came, Shepard. I heard what happened. They pulled me off the mission. Just like when they forced you to give up the Normandy. I know, I'm sorry. I wanted to warn you, but there was no way to get a message to you before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. You have to go to Ilos. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. It's not that simple. How? Forget it. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel controls locked out all the Normandy systems, but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. And how are we going to do that? You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. If we steal the Normandy, you're the one left holding the bag. And if Saren finds the conduit, life as we know it is over. The Reapers will destroy us. Humans, Asari, everybody. You're the only one who can stop him, Shepard. So I'll do whatever it takes to get you on the Normandy and off this station. Stealing the Normandy is mutiny. What if the crew won't help me? The Normandy's your ship now, Commander. Her crew will follow you to the ends of the galaxy. We both know that. All right. I won't forget this, Captain. I promise. I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happens. That is a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. I don't want you to get shot. You're gonna get yourself killed. There has to be another way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. Do that. He won't just stand by while you use his computer. Hopefully he won't be there. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. Then do the that. The Ambassador will not forgive this, Captain. You will be charged with treason, a capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the Ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. You'll have a better chance if you go after the Ambassador's computer. I was hoping you'd say that. The Ambassador has made this personal. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Fuck yeah, let's do let's it. Let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. Sweet. I hope he kicks his ass while he's in there. Hey, good to see another human. All right, I'm gonna fast travel down the C sec, take the elevator up. Uh, there we, there it is. I always forget where they put it because the entrance is in the Presidium, but it counts in the war. It's weird. It's stupid.
is it? It's this elevator, right? Yes. You are unlike the other Krogan I have met, Rex. You do not share the bloodlust of your people. When you're young, you go looking for every fight you can. You get older, you realize the best fights will find you. Yeah, that's kind of true. Alright, let's get out of here, y'all. At least they still let me out in the ship. Because it is technically my house right now. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. I don't know why I love doing this so much. De Kick his ass! Kick his ass! Anderson! What are you doing here? I didn't set. <laughs> Get us out of here, Joker. Now! Sweet. Shepard, may I speak with you? I was just thinking about you. I have been thinking about you too, and what we are about to face. I do not know what is going to happen on Ilos. I hope we will stop Saren, of course, but part of me fears we are already too late. There is something I must tell you, in case we fail. We're not going to fail, I promise. Please, I am not looking for comfort. Saren might already have the conduit. It is time to be completely honest with each other. These could be our last moments together. Our last chance to show each other how we feel. I want this to be special. We don't have to do this. Not unless you're sure. I have never been more sure of anything in my life. Will you join with me, Shepard? Let our bodies and minds unite. Just tell me what to do. By the goddess. That was incredible, Shepard. You were incredible. Five minutes ETA to the Mew Relay. I had better go. Duty calls. You would not want to keep Joker waiting. Shepard, whatever happens on Ilos, I just wanted to say... Thank you. For everything.
Uh, Commander? We've got company. Have their sensors picked us up yet? Well, stealth systems are engaged. Unless we get close enough for a visual, they won't have any idea we're here. Picking up some strange readings from the planet's surface. Take us down, Joker. Lock in on the coordinates. Negative on that, Commander. The nearest landing zone's two clicks away. We'll never make it in time on foot. Get us something closer. There is nowhere closer. I've looked. Drop us in the Mako. You need at least a hundred meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find near Saren is twenty. Twenty meters? No way we can make a drop in there. We have to try. Find another landing zone! There is no other landing zone! The descent angle's too steep. It's our only option. It's not an option. It's a suicide run. We don't... I can do it. Joker? I can do it. Gear up and head down to the Mako. Joker, drop us right on top of that bastard. All right. I think this is something Liara would definitely want to see, and Rex can hit hard, so let's fucking do it. Get inside this bunker before Saren finds the conduit. There is no way we're getting past that door with brute force. Saren found some way to open it. There must be some kind of security override somewhere in this complex. We will have to find some way to get it up and running again. We'll figure it out, but I, I suspect he's not gonna make it easy for us, so... Might as well use the big guns. Turn it around a little bit. Come on. Come on, you bastard. Might be cheating a little bit. There we go. Does that really count as cheating as you, if you use the game's resources against it? No one's ever really answered that question. Oh, no. I'm not dealing with you. Let's just let's just snipe you. No, that's just part of the... There we go. 
Where is everybody? Did they get stuck? Well, they got stuck on the Mako, didn't it? No, there's Rex. Where the hell's Liara? Oh, she got stuck on the Mako. Come on. Come on. Enough of that. Thank you. face with a rocket again. Entirely missed this. Two shots. Oh, didn't I just come from this way? Keep moving. The fuck are these things? Jesus. Oh, and that's where you know you're on the right way. You gotta love like 2008 game design. <laughs> Nope, just another of these horrific statues. There's a massive geth like right up here. Wait. 
damage. There's a door over there. Can we actually hop over here and see? Go. I think the area is clear. Right back to the door. Tactically, you'd keep your weapons out. Because you don't know what's on the other side of that door. Wait a minute, so did we just kind of take an elevator up for higher ground and that's it? Yeah, seems like it. Back down we go. I wish I had more time to study all of this. I'm sure you do. I would love to as well, but kinda got like a bunch of guys trying to kill us. Oh my god. so much. Clear, thanks for doing all that work. Oh my god. This must be the command center for the entire complex. Saren's troops must have sealed the doors from here after he went inside. We will have to figure out how to disengage the security lockdown if we ever want to get out. inside that bunker. I mean, at the end of the day, don't we? Can't we just have somebody airdrop us some charges and blow it to hell? Because it's just a door. It's not like it's a bunch of support columns. Oh shit. Get out of the way! Oh my god! Oh my god! Holy shit! No, no, no! Damn it! It's alright. Alright. Let's try that again. Which, that's, is this the elevator that we just got off of? Yes. with stasis, please. Never mind. <laughs> okay, it's cool. 
If I had some grenades, we could get through it. Hold on a second. What if we just hit them before they get closer? Doesn't seem to be any geth up here. Security panel. This goes up higher. Where does this go? So nowhere really. Back down. Let's activate the panel. See if we can get everything working here. Come, Saren already has a head start. We have to go find him before he reaches the conduit. Unless he's already found it, then we're just walking into a trap. That is a chance we will have to take. Hold on. Something's happening. Too late. Unable to... Invading fleets. No escape. Sounds like some kind of message. But I don't recognize the language. It is probably in Prothean. This recording must be 50,000 years old. No wonder we cannot understand it. You can't? The message is all broken up, but I recognize some of the words. It's a warning against the Reaper invasion. Of course. Between the beacons and the cipher, an understanding of the Prothean language would have been transferred into your mind. Not safe. Seek refuge. Inside the archives. What's it saying? Can you make out anything useful? Fought Reapers. The Citadel. Overwhelmed. Only hope. Act of desperation. The conduit. All is lost. It's not clear. I'm only getting small bits. It said something about the conduit, but it's too degraded to help. We should go. It cannot be stopped. Right, let's hit it. Uh, where was that door? Through here. I really need to get something that heals both of them up. 
Because I don't think it... I'm not sure the Metagel heals us both, or all three of us, just me. What you feeling yourself up for back there, Liara? This is back towards where we were, okay. Now begins the difficult task of turning the Mako back around. done. Oh god, what have I done? Hold on a second. Wait, wait, wait. Let's hunt down Saren's ass. I have spent my life studying the Pythians, but I never dreamed I would discover anything like this. This bunker might have been the last refuge of their entire species. Oh, you've Just gotta imagine be kidding. what mysteries it might hold. Imagine what secrets it might reveal. Hey, try to remember why we're here. Saren, the conduit. The fate of the entire known galaxy? No, you're kidding me. I am sorry. I was swept up in the moment. I just hope we have the opportunity to study this place in detail after this is done. I thought Saren would have set some kind of trap around the for us. They must have been in too much of a hurry. Oh, they certainly were. Or would. we just have yet to run into it. Probably a little bit of both. I've been talking about what happens if you flip this thing this entire goddamn game. And now when we're this close to the end, it happens? What are all those things on the wall? Some kind of thing? They look like stasis pods. The Protheans probably tried to keep themselves alive through cryogenic freezing. Something must have gone wrong. This bunker became their tomb. The pods are there as well as... What is happening? It's a trap! Saren must have set an ambush. I do not think Saren is behind this. Heading to position. Oh shit, I didn't notice that. Well, there's only one place to go. I have studied the Protheans for decades, but I have never felt this sense of foreboding. What will we find down there? Don't get your hopes up. The only thing we can depend on right now is ourselves.
You are not Prothean, but you are not machine either. This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. Looks like some kind of VI program. Pretty badly damaged. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any of you. Unlike the other that passed recently, perhaps there is still hope. This is incredible. An actual Prothean VI, and I can understand it. I have been monitoring your communication since you arrived at this facility. I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. Alright, Vigil, what are you? Are you some kind of artificial intelligence program? I am an advanced non-organic analysis system, with personality imprints from Kesad Aishan, Chief Overseer of the Ilos Research Facility. Why did you bring me here? You must break a cycle that has continued for millions of years. But to stop it, you must understand, or you will make the same mistakes we did. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government, as it was with us and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay, one that links to dark space, the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through, and all you know will be destroyed. So, the Citadel has a relay, Reapers in dark space. How come nobody ever noticed the Citadel was an inactive mass relay? The Reapers are careful to keep the greatest secrets of the Citadel hidden. That is why they created a species of seemingly benign organic caretakers. The Keepers maintain the station's most basic functions. They enable any species that discovers the Citadel to use it without fully understanding the technology. Reliance on the Keepers ensures no other species will ever discover the Citadel's true nature. Not until the Relay is activated and the Reapers invade. I see. So they made the Citadel, the Keepers, the Relays, how do the Reapers survive out in dark space? We have only theories. The researchers here came to believe the Reapers enter prolonged states of inactivity to conserve energy. This allows them to survive the thousands and thousands of years it takes for organic civilization to rebuild itself. But in this state, they are vulnerable. By retreating beyond the edges of the galaxy, they ensure no one will accidentally discover them. They keep their existence hidden until the Citadel Relay is activated. We won't stand a chance. Saren's going to activate it, the perfect trap. The Reapers can wipe out the Council and the entire Citadel fleet in a single surprise attack. That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel and through it the mass relays. Communication and transportation across our empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. Some of you must have managed to survive. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is power, and they knew everything about us. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the galaxy. Some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others were conquered, their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they betrayed them to the machines. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. Why did the Reapers leave? Why did they do this? What did the Reapers get out of this? Why do they keep repeating this pattern of genocide over and over? The Reapers are alien, unknowable. Perhaps they need slaves or resources. 
more likely they are driven by motives and goals organic beings cannot hope to comprehend. In the end, what does it matter? Your survival depends on stopping them, not in understanding them. I mean, it depends on a little bit of both, because sometimes understanding an enemy can help you survive, huh? I don't understand. Where did the Reapers go after they conquered your people? Our worlds were stripped bare, harvested by the indoctrinated slaves. Everything of value, all resources, all technology was taken. Certain that all advanced organic life had been extinguished, the Reapers retreated back through the Citadel Relay into dark space, sealing it behind them. All evidence of the Reaper invasion had been wiped away. Only their indoctrinated slaves were left behind, abandoned. Mindless husks, no longer capable of independent thought, the indoctrinated soon starved or died of exposure. The genocide of the Protheans was complete. I see. You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small scale version of a mass relay. One that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the relay network. The conduit is not a weapon. It is a backdoor onto the Citadel. How did you manage to stay hidden? All official records of our project were destroyed in the initial attack on the Citadel. While the Prothean Empire came crashing down, Ilos was spared. We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. You should have fought. We were a few hundred against a galactic invasion fleet. Our only hope was to remain undetected. I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel Relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? I understand why you did it, but Jesus Christ. You were programmed to protect them, not kill them. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. I bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. I saved key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. A way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. Aren't they under the influence of the Reapers? The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel relay. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Saren must have some plan to undo everything you did. The one you call Saren will use the conduit to bypass the Citadel's defenses. Once inside, he will transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay, and the cycle of extinction will begin again. Not this time. I'll take Sovereign down. 
Somehow. There's a data file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel's security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. Wait. Where's the Citadel's master control unit? I've never heard of anything like that. Through the conduit. Follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. All right, sounds good. Um... What happened to the survivors from the Conduit Project? They used the Conduit to gain access to the Citadel. But the Conduit is only a prototype. The portal only links in one direction, so they were trapped on the station. I do not know what became of them then. It is unlikely they found any food or water on the station. I fear they suffered a slow, grim death. Jesus Christ. I only know they succeeded in their mission to seal the relay. Your presence here proves their sacrifice was not in vain. There were no ships there that were just damaged and that could be salvaged? What about the beacon on Eden Prime and the one on Vermeer? What were they for? At our apex, the beacons spanned the breadth of our empire. We used them as a single galaxy-wide network to transmit data and communications rapidly from world to world. Virtually all the beacons were destroyed during the invasion, but once the Reapers were gone, the survivors here on Ilos decided to risk sending out a message. We knew it was unlikely there were other survivors, but if there were, we wanted them to know about Ilos. We wanted to give them hope, so a message was sent across the network. You could have exposed yourself to the Reapers. In truth, we didn't expect any of the beacons would still function, but we had to try. If there were survivors, we had to reach them. The message was meant for our own people. It was coded so only organic beings could interpret it. We still didn't understand the power of Reaper indoctrination. We never realized it could lead an agent of the machines, like Saren, to this world. But it has also led you here. So perhaps we did not fail after all. So when the Reapers created the Citadel, they created the Keepers as well? A more likely scenario is that the Keepers were one of the early harvested civilizations. Perhaps the very first. Perhaps they responded well to indoctrination or the Reapers simply bred them to be obedient. In any case, they were left behind to operate and maintain the Citadel. Makes sense. But the okay. Keepers are no longer directly controlled by Sovereign or its ilk. They evolved so that they only respond to the signals emitted by the Citadel itself. When the Protheans altered the Citadel signals, they broke Sovereign's hold over the Keepers. Now, they are completely harmless. And that does explain the Geth. Sovereign must have realized that organic races were difficult to control. A likely hypothesis. The Keepers evolved in an unanticipated direction. Non-organic servants like the Geth would be more predictable. And easier to use for an army for this. If the Reapers are trapped in dark space, how did Sovereign get here? It is logical to assume the Reapers would leave one of their own behind after each extinction a sentinel to pave the way for their inevitable return. Like those in dark space, Sovereign probably spent most of the last 50,000 years in a state of hibernation. Periodically, it would wake to analyze the situation. Keeping its existence hidden, it would evaluate the state of galactic civilization. And when the time was right, it would signal the Citadel and usher in the next Reaper invasion. But this time, the signal failed. The Keepers did not respond. Sovereign's allies were trapped in the void. Alone, it was forced to try and discover what had gone wrong. Sovereign's the largest ship in the galaxy. Why all this secrecy? Why not just attack the Citadel? Sovereign is not invincible. Revealing its true nature would have united the forces of every organic species against it. Even a Reaper couldn't survive such odds. But the Reapers are patient. They will not rush into the unknown. Sovereign could have been planning this for centuries, moving deliberately, gathering allies. Slowly, 
It has assembled the pieces of the puzzle, working through agents to keep itself hidden. Saren is the most visible pawn of the Reapers, but I doubt he was the first. Now Sovereign has grown bold. Whether from confidence or desperation, I cannot say. But it is determined to reopen the portal to Dark Space. Well then, let's go kick its ass. Saren's got enough of a head start. Grab that data file and let's go. Shepard, are you sure? Who knows how much longer Vigil will be here? Even now, the projection is weak. This might be our only chance to speak with it, our only link to the knowledge of the Protheans. It is the opportunity of a lifetime. Well, I did ask it everything, It right? might know something useful. I will provide whatever information I can. My data banks, however, are limited to information directly related to stopping the Reaper invasion. Yeah, I've asked it everything already. I've got the file. Come on. The one you call Saren has not reached the conduit. Not yet. There is still hope if you hurry. Alright, let's hit it. Holy hell, man. You know, the Reapers are still even more terrifying when you get the full context of them. All their culture, all their advanced technology, and the Protheans were taken in by the Reapers just as we were. They failed. Keep it moving. I've got no intention of ending up like them. None at all. We're gonna make it through it. back there. Let's see exactly where. that it just works. What does suck is that it doesn't actually, I don't think, cause any damage. Which, you know, I guess makes sense. And this thing, like, is... It's not tissue paper, but it doesn't, it doesn't take a lot of damage itself. Do it. It's incredible. We don't have time to admire the view. We have to get through that relay, and these Geth aren't going to make it easy on us. No, they're not, but we can handle it.
System's not responding. Abandon the Citadel! Evacuate the Council! Citadel Control! Citadel Control, do you copy? Let's hit it! Yep, we have no time to stop this fight. Critical failures detected across all monitored systems. Please begin emergency evacuation. There we are, we're clear. The Presidium is experiencing severe system malfunctions across the entire level. All non-emergency personnel must evacuate immediately. Give me a rundown of the damage. We have lost all primary power to the level. Environmental controls are not responding. Class 3 fires are burning in sectors 2, 3, 6, and 7. Civilian casualties are high. Okay, so they've done a lot of fucking I am also damage. detecting numerous unauthorized synthetic life forms throughout the station. They are believed to be hostile. Please approach with caution. What happened to the Council? In accordance with standard emergency procedures, the Council has been evacuated to the Destiny Ascension. What about Captain Anderson and Ambassador Udina? What happened to them? I have no information on the status of specific individuals. Once the current crisis has been resolved, a complete accounting of casualties and survivors will begin. Understood. Where's Saren? Former Spectre agent Saren Arturius is nearing the vicinity of the Council Chamber. A warrant has been issued for his arrest, though Citadel Security is unable to respond at this time. Alright, log off, let's go. Come on, we need to stop Saren before it's too late.
the elevator. Suit up! We're going outside! Say we're boned, but we're not. We got this. Well, we got everything except for, you know, good running stamina. Just the three of us. Oh, 
Let's just leave him. There, I think. Not as long as they're Krogan in the way. Let's see if I can hit him. when they just run at you like a maniac.
shit, there's more of them.
Had to wipe out a few hundred of your followers along the way. Sorry if I kept you waiting. You've lost. You know that, don't you? In a few minutes, Sovereign will have full control of all the Citadel systems. The relay will open. The Reapers will return. I've still got a few tricks up my sleeve. You survived our encounter on Vermeyer, but I've changed since then. Improved. Sovereign has upgraded me. I'm sorry, what? You let Sovereign implant you? Are you insane? I suppose I should thank you, Shepard. After Vermeyer, I couldn't stop thinking about what you said. About Sovereign manipulating me. About indoctrination. The doubts began to eat away at me. Sovereign sensed my hesitation. I was implanted to strengthen my resolve. Now my doubts are gone. I believe in Sovereign completely. I understand that the Reapers need organics. Join us, and Sovereign will find a place for you, too. You're indoctrinated, buddy. Sovereign's controlling you through your implants. Don't you see that? The relationship is symbiotic. Organic and machine intertwined. A union of flesh and steel. The strengths of both, the weaknesses of neither. I am a vision of the future, Shepard. The evolution of all organic life. This is our destiny. Join Sovereign and experience a true rebirth. Sovereign hasn't won yet. I can stop it from taking control of the station. Step aside and the invasion will never happen. We can't stop it. Not forever. You saw the visions. You saw what happened to the Protheans. The Reapers are too powerful. You could have resisted. You could have fought. Instead, you surrendered. You quit. Maybe you're right. Maybe there is still a chance for... for... The implants. Sovereign is too strong. I'm sorry. It is too late for me. There's still one way to stop this. If you've got the guts. Goodbye, Shepard. Thank you. Get the control of the station, and then we'll make sure he's dead. Vigil's data file worked. I've got control of all systems. Quick! Open the station's arms. Maybe the fleet can take Sovereign down before he regains control of the station. See if you can open a communications channel. Here, Joker. We caught that distress call, Commander. I'm sitting here in the Endura sector with the entire Arcturus fleet. We can save the Ascension. Just unlock the relays around the Citadel and we'll send the cavalry in. You'd sacrifice human lives to save the Council? What have they ever done for your kind? This is bigger than humanity. Sovereign is a threat to every organic species in the galaxy. That's why you can't throw away reinforcements trying to save the Council. Hold them back until the Citadel arms open up and the human fleet can go after Sovereign. What's the order, Commander? Come in now to save the Ascension, or hold back? Get the Council out of there. It's not going to take too long to get the arms open anyway. Opening the relays now, Joker. We need to save the Ascension, no matter what the cost. I hope the Council appreciates that. Alliance ships, move in. Save the Destiny Ascension. Picking up reinforcements! It's the Alliance! Thank the Goddess! Sit 
Admiral's opening. All ships move in. Concentrate on Sovereign. Make sure he's dead. He's dead. Absolute fuck okay. I am sovereign, and this station is mine. Oh, he's just there. down no matter what the cost. Okay, we're oh, we're back. Down. We're back. Oh no. Is my rifle functional?
we go. Stasis do no damage. That's just terrifying. It's terrifying. What is this? chance. Take that monster down no matter what the cost. Okay. There he is.
don't you? safe now. Where's the commander? Ambassador, Captain, Commander Shepard. 
We have gathered here to recognize the enormous contributions of the Alliance forces in the war against Sovereign and the Geth. Many humans lost their lives in the battle to save the Citadel. Brave and courageous soldiers who willingly gave their lives so that we, the Council, might live. There is no greater sacrifice, and we share your grief over the tragic loss of so many noble men and women. The Council also owes you a great personal debt, Commander, one we can never repay. You saved not just our lives, but the lives of billions from Sovereign and the Reapers. Commander Shepard, your heroic and selfless actions serve as a symbol of everything humanity and the Alliance stand for. And though we cannot bring back those valiant soldiers who gave their lives to save ours, we can honor their memories through our actions. Humanity has shown it is ready to stand as a defender and protector of the galaxy. You have proved you are worthy to join our ranks and serve beside us on the Citadel Council. Counselor, on behalf of Humanity and the Alliance, we thank you for this prestigious honor and humbly accept. We will need a list of potential candidates to fill Humanity's seat on the Council. Given all that has happened, I am sure your recommendation will carry a great deal of weight, Commander. Do you support any particular candidate? We need someone with the courage to stand up for what he believes in. Someone like Captain Anderson. Him? You must be joking. Anderson prefers to let his fists do the talking. Only with you, Ambassador. Only with you. Are you sure about this, Commander? The Captain's a soldier, not a politician. Oh, I'm absolutely sure about it. We've already got too many politicians on the Citadel. The Captain would be perfect for this job. I think it's an inspired choice. The Council would welcome him with open arms, should he accept. I'm honored, Counselor. As Humanity's representative, I'll do everything in my power to help the Council rebuild. Sovereign's defeat marks the beginning of a new era for both Humanity and the Council. Sovereign was only a vanguard. The Reaper fleet is still coming. Hundreds of ships, maybe thousands. And I'm gonna find some way to stop them. Shepard's right. Humanity is ready to do its part. United with the rest of the Council, we have the strength to overcome any challenge. When the Reapers come, we must stand side by side. We must fight against them as one. And together, we will drive them back into dark space. Gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, thanks so very much for joining me. If you like what you saw and you're not doing it already, drop me a follow if you please. Thank you so very much. If you're watching on YouTube, drop me a sub, maybe hit the like button, all that. Uh, thank you so much. I'm not sure what we're going to play next. I'll have to see see what we got. If you got any good emulators, tell me about them because I really want to play the Killzone series. But I, I don't have anything compatible with my PlayStation 3, so whatever but i thank you and i will see you all tomorrow mm -hmm.